Okay, so this is gonna be the home inspection video I'm doing for you. So it's just gonna be a quick video. It's a lot of just little, little stuff that, probably a hundred little things I have to, that are on the report of readjusting and repairing. Small little things um, like, you know, placing drain stop here, but attached. Um, so it's, instead of going to 30 minutes of stuff, I'm just gonna show you the basics and the report has the real lay down of what needs to get done. Um, so obviously we gotta place the pocket door hardware. You see just loose here too. Um, toilet bowl's loose. Here that. Uh, I, so you'll see on the report where it shows 90 something degrees from my thermostat reader. It's because it's, the reason why I did that is that if I point to tile, it's just still gonna take a while for it to heat up. It's not gonna show an accurate measure of the um, sh of showing that the the heating unit from the package unit is working properly, which it is. So you'll see like 90 something degrees or 87, 80. The temperature is not that of the actual furnace itself. So that's just the metal on the grill. So, um, well, it looks like they, did a nice job of painting around the sliding door. It's a vinyl sliding door. Um, lubricate the track, obviously, a little bit. Put some WD 40 on the wheels. Um, all right, oh, that ceiling fan needs to get replaced or readjusted. It's really loose. I would just replace it. So, this door is kind of funny. Um, you'll see how it doesn't close. There's a couple of things that are going on here. One, the jam stop needs to get moved over that way, because right now you can see the door is actually hitting jam stop. So it's not allowing it to close. And then the door does that. It's probably because the floor goes up its head. You can see the floor does actually go up a little bit. So um, it's probably just most likely to do it. The, I think it's probably the mortar they use underneath the tile. Um, it wasn't flush, so um, you're gonna have to cut that door down a quarter of an inch and move this jam stop that way. So you do is you take this whole thing off this corner, use a knife, and then close the door and install the jam stop against it with, with a finish gun, 16 or 18 gauge nails. Um, I haven't crawled yet, so but um, I was not able to get this to work or turn on at all. And there's no um, access panel in this area or even outside the house. So hopefully there is one under the house. <laughs> Otherwise we're having a problem here. Um, so loose toilet bowl again. Again, like I said about the thermostats, you know, or not about the about the um, grills. I use the th my reader to show that it was working. Um, let's check this door real quick strike plate obviously i probably missed that on the report but i got a bunch of those um there's no smoke detectors which we need to get smoke detectors in the house in all these rooms also you need to replace the battery and now i'm going to turn it off and everything does work so but you'll want to place the batteries go this way um Leave this door, you have to replace the weather stripping. Um, okay, I'm gonna go outside real quick. Yeah, on the threshold. Okay, um, you see a lot of this. See how this, this is a tape joint crack? And this is pretty common for outside stucco or actually drywall. It's, this is drywall, yeah. Uh, just because of the amount of heat and cold index change will affect those tape joints, which will obviously at times we'll have to get these redone quite a bit. Um, it's just common. I'm not gonna go too far. Um, I went underneath the deck quite a bit. Um, your shutoff valve is under the deck for the water. So um, let's just go back inside. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go over here real quick. Cause I'm not gonna do the whole outside. Um, there's a lot of um, little things that are on the report. Um, so the package unit is not properly level. Um, you can see it leans. It should be, that's, a, that's leaning quite a bit. So it really needs a leveling unit on it. 
Oh yeah, the hot water heater, like we talked, it needs to get replaced, it's done, it's rusted. You can see over here, it's shot. So I'm putting a number of requests for 1750 for a new hot water heater, which is about standing rate for a propane tank, propane hot water heater. So I believe there's a tad bit of propane left where the gauge is broken on one or the other. I was able to move it, so there's hardly any in there. So if I was definitely able to move the tank, so it's probably just barely enough to just to, just to do the inspection. Um, okay, so up here, downspout right here needs to get re um, needs to get re. Uh, blah, sorry, we need to change the direction here because water's getting in behind building here. So I'll, I'll put on the report how it should go, but it should go down like this, down. And an elbow right here to go down and then down like that so um that needs to get repaired obviously um i did go on the roof i also did a drone video so nothing major um the roof looks like a pretty good shape at least 20 years left on it so it's 30 year asphalt dimensional shingle roof so the roof is in excellent shape you got a California weave on the valley, so it's actually the best way to do a closed valley. Um, I'll explain it more in the report. Um, I think we're not going to go out here. There's a couple of plugs, like I haven't pointed out on the report, that um, have a hot neutral or need to get replaced. Let me lock this up because I don't want to be caught not locking it up. Okay, like I said, you need smoke detectors here. Uh, broken glass over right here, broken glaze. I'm gonna show you that I was able to get a little bit of propane to light up the stove and the oven. As you can see, got it going. Um, you need to adjust some of these cabinet hinges over here it's kind of cheapo um dishwasher crash compactor doesn't work i'm not surprised people don't use this anymore anyway the reason why is because i think the reason why the trash packers are no longer used is because women no offense um would always pack the crap out of those things and they would bust the bags because they wouldn't want to take the garbage out so i think it's very past safe to have a trash compactor anymore. Okay, so this door right here, obviously you want to run a three inch screw up here on top. Um, it'll lift up the door itself, a tab, because you're tightening the jam to the trim, remember? I'll explain it more in the report too. Um, your chimney is actually capped off, so you could actually if you wanted to get a wood burning stove here, you could. Um, this unit does not work. It's pretty ancient anyway. Um, ceiling fans are moderate, but um, I would definitely think about getting a mini ductless system in this section, um, especially because you have an exterior, you have various locations where you can actually run it. Oh, here. Never paint around a sub panel box, ever. <sighs> yeah, that's why I, I don't want to destroy the, the drywall. That's why I can't open it up. Okay, let's go down this way. So, like I said, on the exterior, there's a lot of loose railing stuff and small minute stuff. But I want to go over with the driveway. So you're gonna eventually gonna have to get that driveway repaved. Um, you're not gonna have enough grit, and it's got to get rebroomed again. So you're gonna have a hard time getting up the driveway with your car. Um, I don't know. Like, sometimes I like like doing these videos because you can catch various lights that are loose. So let me uh, continue here, and I'll go back to that. So. I like to, doing these videos sometimes because you catch yourself missing something. Um, like I said, I haven't crawled yet. Um, 
Okay, I believe this handle's loose. Yeah, this handle is loose. Wow, there it is, see? Loose. Boom. What a little stuff. Like I said. Um, need smoke detectors in here too. This is an office, I guess you can kind of call this an office because it has no closet in it. Which, I'm wondering how many bedrooms he has it listed for if that's a closet, it's not a bedroom. So that's important to note. So, same thing with this door. You gotta re adjust the strike uh, on a three inch screw and it'll lift up the door a little bit. So I'll explain it more on the report. All right, I think that's it for the video. Um, like I said, a lot of stuff on the outside, little things. Um, I don't bring my tablet on the roof. I'm always afraid of dropping it because it has everything on it. So that is it for the video.